Welcome to the video abstract about the Riemann zeta function, which suggests an intimate relation between entanglement in quantum physics and analytical continuation in mathematics. I am Cornelia Feiler from the Institute of Quantum Physics, Ulm University. The Dirichlet representation of the Riemann zeta function, here shown by its absolute value, resembles time evolution of a quantum state. Therefore, we propose a measurement of the zeta function by the overlap of a time-evolved quantum state with an appropriately chosen reference state. For the Dirichlet representation, it suffices to prepare a single mode of a cavity field with certain probability amplitudes, which mimic the zeta function. The Wigner function of the initial state is in the form of a wedge, with a dominant positive valued ridge oriented along the x-axis that breaks up and curls for increasing time since each part of the wave function propagates with its own velocity. The overlap between the initial and the time evolved state shown in the right bottom picture gives the values of the zeta function defined by the Dirichlet sum. Unfortunately, the convergency of this sum as well as the normalization of the quantum states take place only in the region of the complex plane where sigma is larger than 1. In mathematics, to overcome the wall at sigma equals 1, here indicated by the red framed plane, we can employ the analytical continuation of the zeta function. In physics, we found that an entangled state could help us to go beyond this wall. It consists of a superposition of two counter-rotating field states coupled to the excited and ground state of a two-level atom. The overlap of this entangled state with an appropriately chosen reference state results in the approximation of the zeta function given by the Riemann-Siegel formula. In this video abstract, we show only the overlap of the two states for sigma equals one half to give a flavor of the phase-based representation of the zeta function on the critical line. This critical line is not only special in mathematics, because it is the conjectured location of the non-trivial zeros, but also in physics, since it marks the values for which the reference state is not entangled. More details on the structure of the required states their phase-based representations and their connection to the Riemann-Zeta function are presented in our paper. Enjoy your reading!